Hey, hey everyone, I'm back again. I've just got a whole layout here full of frames that I've used up from one of the collections that came in the hip kit earlier in the year. So this photo is that when we were at the Speedway in January at, up in Brisbane and um, the hip kit was obviously an earlier one, maybe January, February, something like that I'd say. Anyway, I've just backed it with all, some pa all the papers from the collection, just random you know, randomly put it in there just to to use some things up and go for the kind of boho eclectic kind of a look and you know, nice and summery and bright and and fun. So just trying to place the frames in a position that I'd like with, in relation to the photo. And I think I've settled on this and or I'm at least settled enough that I'm doing my layering behind my photos. So the first one's always a big square mat and then this one I'm doing the same, another square mat, so I was just thinking that isn't the way I layer now, that's crazy isn't it, how over just in a few months how it's changed. So I'm just randomly, well not randomly because I probably positioned them there properly, but just you know putting the layers skewed to each other so that it's sitting pretty cool behind it, you know going with the frames and whatnot behind it. So this is a cheap way of putting your layers down using your tiny attacher or your stapler to staple them together that way they don't move around while you're trying to do this you know mucking around with clusters and embellishments and titles and whatnot so committing to this layout with the frames on goes the double sided tape and I'm pretty sure I don't let you watch all of it oh no see look I was nice so <laughs> It's funny how, like, even though it wasn't that long ago that I would have filmed this, well, I guess quite a few months because we are in October, but, like, I'm looking at it going, gosh, the lighting's different, the way I film is different, and, you know, the way I've got my desk is different. I usually try and keep that clutter out of frame so that you can't see how messy I am when I scratch. So, on to getting the embellishments onto the page and obviously it's already busy with the frames but I thought it'd be nice to highlight some kind of an embellishment cluster somewhere and I really like that tag what is it a tag a label that flag banner or oh, banner oh my goodness banner down the bottom so I'd had that earlier on in the piece and that's where it started and just going through so this is a moonstruck um, embellishment pack and it's so nice it's so pretty Unfortunately, it's all gone from my stash, which I guess is not unfortunate. It's unfortunate that it's not going on another layout, but it's already on layouts, obviously. That's why I don't have any left. So just using some plastic from my stickers packet to spell out my title so that I can move it around and play with the positioning. And those feathers that go with the little, you know, the boho kind of a style that's going on with the frame. Adding so. I played around a fair bit so I cut out a lot so that's why it just appears on the on the page here for you. Sorry that you didn't get to watch it but seriously there was about 15-20 oh, minutes of putting embellishments on. Like the whole page was covered in embellishments. Nearly every frame had something at some stage and I was like what are you, what were you even thinking Lauren? Like that doesn't even, oh gosh just was not something that should have been seen by anyone so I don't even know why I was, what I was thinking anyway so I narrowed it down and this is what I'm pretty much going with so I thought I'd leave in the gluing part because even though I've laid it out it always changes when I glue it down because you I never you know measure anything out or take a photo to see where things are again or anything like that I just go oh yep yeah, that's about there looks right and then I pick it up glue it down and see what happens so in goes some twine to this tag, and I tuck that in the side there. Yay! So not much to this layout really, because you know the frames. You back the frames with some paper, and you could do coordinating papers on those frames so that they weren't just so um, eclectic. But you know this is what I was feeling on the day, and then adding all these just random, you know, random but goes with the theme kind of of boho craziness onto the embellish embellishment cluster that I've got coming up from the top of the photo there. I don't know why I'm telling you that because obviously you can see that. You know where my embellishment cluster is. Sorry, Facebook Messenger's going off. 
was talking about to my father about Christmas plans and we me and my my little family, my husband and two kids have just booked to go to the coast for the week before Christmas, so that shall be lovely. Nice little Christmas present for my boys. And well for the family, but you know, we know about it, the boys don't know about it. And I said they could, you know, that if they came down we'd be there, so He's probably replying something in regards to that back to me. Anyway, I've cut the foam, you know, badly as I always do. So I had to pull it off, you know, dig the scissors in so I could get it out and that it wasn't overlaying the photo or, you know, like overlapping the photo so that you could see the red foam that would jar with your eyes because it doesn't go with anything else. So I just thought there was a you know a frame missing from there even though I put it sideways it still looks like that's where it's meant to be in in relation to all the other frames I'm just making it all so cohesive on the layout so another embellishment cluster down the bottom here it's just like sometimes you can just go so simple and other times it goes you know you fill a whole page up there's not much white space on this page because it's just not what was needed it's a simple selfie photo with the three of us. It's not even that, you know, spectacular or anything. It's just something cute in the moment that we took. And, well, I took and I probably had to coerce them to say to smile and whatnot. Although back then they were a bit more liking of the photos. My eldest is a bit more now, is a bit more, no, I don't want to take a photo. Because, you know, preteen, that's what they do. Just putting on these enamel triangles, you know, like enamel dots, onto a layout, spreading them out, adding some texture. It's always nice to add, you know, the variety of die cuts, enamel dots, wood veneer, chipboard stickers, shiny things, matte things, 3D things to the layout. Because all of that, to me, makes a pretty cool texture, a base and a depth to the to the background and the and what's going on. So of course, adding a bit of journaling, not very much, it doesn't need much. Because like I said, it's just a photo that we randomly took while we were at the speedway. I added some tiny words from these um exclusive tiny words, did I? Oh yeah. Just adding them in a different spot too originally. Sometimes I just like to stick as I go. Sometimes I play with the placement and and muck around a fair bit. Just depends on what mood I mean, and especially if I haven't scrapbooked for a little bit. I tend to get stuck in my head a bit and it's always good to pull out a sketch for that for that time so that you're not thinking, overthinking and worrying and self doubting. It just sort of flows a bit easier. Then you can move on to your normal scrapbooking ways. Adding some more flowers because they are adorable and they are just necessary. So winding it up pretty much and you know you'll see a close-up of the of the layout hopefully with a bit better lighting than at the moment anyway thanks for coming and watching and we'll see you next time thank you